Yes, here we are in Geneva, the land of lovely cars and just off screen here you can see our lovely GT3 RS which I am finally reunited with. And the premise for the next two days is that we're actively snow hunting in the GT3 RS. Now this time of year the passes which have all of the great driving roads are typically closed. Obviously the idea is that there's lots of snow on them. So we're heading up to Verbier which is a ski resort in the Swiss Alps to try and hunt down some snow on our journey to a perfect Christmas destination. We set off, you're probably thinking GT3 RS, snow, not necessarily two things that go together that well. Well, we have thought about this, we are doing it properly. Uh, yeah, we fitted it with some lovely winter tires. Michelin Pilot Alpine, or Alpine. Uh, but of course, with the ride height on the RS being so low and the wheels being so big anyway, we've actually had to fit a full entire set of wheels and tires. We do have these lovely chunky tires on there nice uh, tread but in order to fit these on because they are a wider profile than the tires that come standard on the rs we've had to reduce the alloy size by an inch they were uh, 21s on the rear they are now 20s uh, and that's allowed these big fat winter tires to easily slip on and of course winter tires work by holding snow on the actual tire because it's snow on snow that uh, allows you to get the grip so of course if you were to pack this arch on its standard tire with snow it would just fill up so yeah really interested to find out how these things work So we've just had our short but enjoyable journey. We are now arrived at the bottom of the Alps. You can just see it in the distance there. The backdrop is absolutely stunning. And the journey here, I've been anticipating this, but it's not until you see the mountains unveil this beautiful crisp blue sky and the snow cap tops up there. It just looks so cool. Now this journey for me is particularly special because of all of the driving that I've done in my time, I've always wanted to drive to a ski resort. Now when I first had it in mind I thought I might end up taking a 4x4 four four or something like that. And here I am taking up a GT3 RS. Now it's cool to take this car up a dry alpine road in summer, but there's something extra awesome about putting some winter tyres on this thing and enjoying the Alps in winter. Let's take this car up this incredible mountain range. We have arrived. We are in Verbier and we are staying at the... Uh, amazing, there's no uh, logo in front of the hotel. How amazing is that? But take it from me, we're staying at the W Verbier. Coincidentally, I came to the launch of this hotel when it first opened. Very nice. And what else is really cool is the last time I was here, parked where we've just parked the GT3 RS. It was a red Ferrari 458 
Italia. So I always thought one day I'm gonna come back here in a supercar and here we are. Now, typically we've gone out of our way, left my home country to actively seek some snow. And well, as you can see, while there is some on the slopes, I think we're a bit early. <laughs> I mean, at the base here, well, as you can see, the base here, there is zero snow at all. Uh, last time I was here, you could barely walk here for snow and, and ice, which was, was kind of what I was hoping for. Alas, we are in Verbier. So let's park up the car, take in the sights and sounds of this place before it goes dark. Oh, and I have some new sunglasses. Snazzy. Back to the hotel room. I'm so gutted. There's no snow. There's no snow anywhere. The forecast, there might be some tomorrow. It's just not ideal, guys, not ideal. Anyway, just walked into my hotel room uh, and it's compelled me to go all Casey Neistat on the whole situation because look at it, look how funky it is. I mean, most, most hotels would have a mini bar. These guys have a shop. Look at all of this. Travel adapter, iPhone charger, winning, intimacy collection for lovers. Well, unfortunately, I'm on my own. Hangover cure, amazing, but unfortunately, I'm driving tomorrow, so that won't work. Cocktail selection, that's kind of funky. I wonder if you, you can buy that. That's just a nice thing in general. It strikes me as the kind of hotel where you would be able to buy everything you can see. Cool Swiss rug, that might make like a last minute Christmas present because I haven't done any shopping at all, and it is December 22nd. Top work. The view, check check it out. Some, got a big ass balcony here. It's nice. But yeah, here we are. Welcome to Verbier. This is the view from my room, which is rather splendid. The main reason I came here is for the snow. And well, it's non-existent right now. So unfortunate. Sorry, I'm just checking out the bathroom, but check it out. Yo, pretty, yeah, pretty funky. I mean, you, you can see through right here. You, can, you better be close with whoever you're staying with because, because here's the bedroom. That's the fireplace and you can see straight through into the shower. So uh, yeah, if you're bunking with your best mate, good luck with that. Okay. Now, today hasn't gone to plan. It's still been a fantastic day. The day has been amazing. I mean, ultimately we've taken the GT3 RS from Geneva up a fantastic driving road through the Alps to Verbier. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but when we set off on this adventure, the whole idea was we were gonna try and find some snow, and I wasn't asking for much. I'm looking for a big open car park with a light smattering of snow. I don't need feet, just a bit, just so that we could get some sideways action with the RS, and we got here. This afternoon was 14 degrees. <laughs> 14 degrees in a ski resort in December. So, such a shame. Now, the whole reason I'm here is that I'm sort of documenting behind the scenes of uh, some filming that Trading212 are doing. They run a weekly trading competition and they're looking to put together some promo content. Now, I didn't want to pass up the opportunity to come here anyway, but I really was hoping to put together like a really cool festive video of the RS just going sideways. I can just imagine it, slow motion, snow spray. Anyway, 
it didn't happen. So that's it. But we did find some awesome roads and I hope you've enjoyed the journey along the way. And I hope also I've given you a quick insight into what Verbier is like. If you're into skiing and you haven't been, make it a priority to come here. It's beautiful, quality and lovely. Anyway, maybe overnight there is a forecast that there might be a chance of, of snow. So if it does snow, I will be sure to make an extra video of lots of sideways action in the RS. But if it doesn't, we will be back in the RS soon. So um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.